Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. I am Twisted Logic, and in this video, I'm going to be going over uh, military setup, alerts, creating squads, assigning ammunition, creating and assigning uniforms, supplies, schedules, points and routes, squad commands, and archery training. If you enjoy this video uh, hit the thumbs up subscribe I'm gonna be making more videos on Dwarf Fortress and uh, let me know what you think in the comments section so to start off I'm gonna press M for military a for alerts and C to create an alert and then shift N I'm gonna name this low training enter um, C Shift N, medium training, enter, create another alert, name this one full training, get inside. name this one patrol one uh, so we have our alerts now I'm gonna go into N to create some uniforms so lowercase n and now these are the defaults I'm gonna press C to create a new uniform and this one I am going to name so shift N wrestler so shift L right on the arrow key and down one, two, three, two trousers, enter. Shift M for material. And then down one, two, three, four for leather, enter. And that's the entire uniform for the uh, wrestlers. And this is going to be, I'm gonna press lowercase r. So replace clothing. And I'm gonna press M for exact matches. So that way, whenever I assign this uniform to any of the dwarves, they're going to remove all of their clothes, put leather trousers on only, and that's their uniform. And this will get their wrestling ability up. Biting, dodging, grappling, kicking, striking. So I'm gonna press C again, and name this uniform, Shift N, enter. In the beginning here with the metal armor, uh, we have that going over the clothing. So whatever clothing they're wearing, when they go to put the uniform on, they're going to put their uniform on over top of the clothing that they're already wearing. For these, for this uniform, it's going to be a little bit more advanced than that. So they're going to have everything they need within the uniform. I'm going to start by adding leggings, so shift L. And over here, I'm gonna have them wear trousers, uh, material, leather. Press L again, and then I'm gonna have them wear greaves. The material of that is going to be, at first I set it up for metal once I have all my blacksmith set up, I'll switch it over to steel. So they'll be wearing full steel armor. Shift B for boots. And then I'm going to add socks. Socks again. High boots. So it looks like they're gonna be wearing two pairs of socks. High boots. Shift material. And we'll make this metal. Shift B. Shoes. Shift M. Leather. Shift G for gloves. Gloves. Gauntlets. Shift M for material. The gloves are going to be leather. The gauntlets are going to be metal. Shift H for a helmet. 
And this, we're gonna have him wear a hood. And helms. And we can even add some more hoods in there if we wanted them to layer. So shift M for material. The hoods are gonna be leather. And the helms are gonna be metal. They need some kind of protection on their body. So the next is gonna be A for armor, so shift armor. And this is gonna be mail shirt, breastplate, and tunic. Shift M for material. This is gonna be leather, and these are gonna be metal. Let's see if there's anything else I normally put here. Cloaks. Shift M. This is going to be um, leather cloaks as well. Shift S. And we're going to give them shield. Shift M. It's going to be metal shields. Shift W for weapon. And now with this unit, with this particular squad, I'm going to do Warhammers. Shift material. So silver warhammers. And I'm gonna make this replace clothing and exact matches. With the M button here, I can have them switch between exact matches or partial matches. Exact matches they it has to be precise down the list. With partial matches Maybe they have uh, trousers on, but they're not leather, they're different material. So over here where we created Paladin and Wrestler, uh, I'm gonna hold down Control and press C. Now I just copied that uniform. And I'm gonna copy it again and again. Then I'm gonna rename this, so Shift N. So I renamed that Middle Ranger. And I'm gonna go into the list here and press, I'm gonna highlight silver war hammers, press enter. And I'm also gonna press enter over metal shields and that removes it. So now shift W for weapon. And this one I'm gonna have crossbows. I replaced all the non-specific metal with a specific metal, which is steel. So this one I'm going to rename Axe Dwarves, and I'm going to get rid of Silver Warhammers, and I'm going to add, so Shift W, Battle Axes, I'll make that any material. Shift N to rename this one. Sword doors. And we'll get rid of steel war hammers. Shift W. Change this to short swords. And you get the idea. So you can so you can name this one Shift N. And we can just hold down backspace. And we can name this one uh, Spear, Spear Dwarves. Get rid of the Silver Warhammers here and Shift W and Maces, Spears. Get rid of the Maces there. Okay, so we created two uniforms, wrestler and paladin. Then we copied paladin one, two, three, four, five, six times. And the only difference between these uniforms is that we changed the weapon in each. So metal ranger has crossbows, 
Axe dwarves have battle axes, sword dwarves have swords, spears have spears, and etc. I'm going to change these two exact matches. Okay, so we set up alerts and uniforms, and now we're going to create squads. So M, and then C to create a squad. And we're going to select wrestler to start with because I don't have a metal industry yet and we're gonna select anybody to be the leader it's gonna auto generate the name and we're just gonna put one dwarf in in the first squad then we're gonna press left down and we're on militia commander now press C again we're gonna pick our uniform and we're gonna pick the next guy down. L, create a squad. And we're just gonna create each squad with only one member. Now, you see it only allows me to create a squad when I'm on this um, second squad. So if I'm on the first squad, I don't have the option to press L second squad this is the militia commander so I have an option to create another squad L L down L enter down L enter down L. okay so I created 20 squads um, this is a pretty big fortress or it's going to be at least and the first squad I'm gonna fill up now the rest of the squads after the first three, um, the rest of the squads are all vacant. So I'm gonna go to squad one, press left, press left again. And now I don't want um, Urist here. I don't want him on any of the squads yet. He's gonna get his own because he is the noble. Enter, 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 just fill this up, down, and then we will go down here, keep pressing enter until it's filled, keep pressing enter until it's filled. I added 11 beds, 10 weapon racks, and 10 armor stands. I just added the extra bed to fill the wall. We're going to go to one of our squad rooms and select either a weapon rack or armor stand and we're going to keep on selecting it until we have this R make barracks armory and press R and then do the room size with the plus and minus keys until the room is filled press enter and then we are going to press up and down with the plus and minus keys to select which squad we want to use for this room and I'm gonna press Z to sleep in that individual equipment squad equipment and train so the gilded riddles are now going to store their individual equipment store the squad equipment sleep and train in this room and we'll go through the next one as well so R, increase the size with the plus key, enter, press plus, Z, I, Q, T. And now I also have these larger rooms down here. So I want to make this a room as well, enter. And I'm going to press T plus all the way down the list. So now every squad will train in this room. As well as this room. R. All the way out. So these are four training rooms I'm creating in the center. And the barracks along the side. 
Now, I'm going to have them only training in the training rooms. Enter. So... TN plus all the way down the list. And we're going to go back to this room here. And remove training. And we'll go to this room as well. Plus T to remove training here. So lowercase s. A, M to move, move them down here somewhere, press enter, B, M to move, over here, enter, and C, move with lowercase m, and I'll put them down here somewhere. So now they should all station. Now if I press I for inventory, the only thing in his inventory is a backpack and trousers. Um, he's got trousers and a backpack. I press tab again. So he's got leather trousers, backpack, just a backpack. We're still making trousers. Leather trousers, backpack. So they are wearing the uniform. I'm just going to make another barracks over here. Enter. Each squad should have a presence in this area. And they may um, end up getting thirsty and hungry as well if you leave them too long or if you forget about them. So, squad A. O for orders. So they're going to go back. If I press squad A and then O, it's going to cancel the station. B, orders, C, orders. M. So now I'm going to go to supplies, so press U. With the minus key, I'm going to tell them do not carry water. I'm going to do that for all the squads. And if they were going to go out, and um, if I was going to send them on a mission outside of the fortress, then I would switch this to uh, carry water beforehand. And then with the star key on the keyboard, I'm going to have them not carry food as well. Okay, so now all the squads are not carrying food or water. So F for ammunition. For the hunters, I'm going to press Shift M and, and move over to wood bolts. So C to add item, we're going to add bolts, and then shift M, and bone bolts. So we'll go down to the squad and press C to add an item, bolts, C to add an item, bolts, C to add an item, bolts. And then shift M for the material and select metal, go up. Shift M for material, and we're going to make this one wood. Shift M and make this one bone. Now I'm going to press Shift C. Shift C. Shift T. So metal bolts should be combat. Wooden and bone bolts are uh, training only. For the metal bolts, I'm going to press star and star again. And so now the whole squad has access to 30 bolts per dwarf. And I'm going to repeat this for all of the squads. So 
So now I'm going to go into military. S for schedules. And now this this menu is was confusing to me for the longest time. Um, so right now I'm on the alert active training. If I hold down shift and press the plus and minus key, we'll go through the alerts at the top. So inactive, I leave alone. I always leave inactive alone, sleep in room at will, and don't give them any orders. So low training here. So now we are going to with left and right with the with the arrow keys here. We can go through up and down through the months on the left and the squads on the top. And I'm just going to create an order. Um, so O and I'm going to press O again. Patrol route. O again, station. This is what I want to train. And now I'm going to press down until I get two soldiers minimum. Press enter. Shift enter. The Wold Corporation squad in the, the center of the three has training two minimum and I'm going to press C to copy that. And then I'm going to press P to paste it. And I'm going to paste this on every single squad within this alert. So now that these three are done, I'm going to press the plus key twice, three times. I'll paste it here. Okay, now I'm going to press shift and plus. And now I'm on medium training, so I'm going to press O for orders. And keep pressing O. I have train, and I'm going to press the plus minus keys to get to four soldiers, maybe five. We'll do five. Shift enter, and copy that with C, lowercase c to copy, and then P to paste it. And I'm going to paste this on all of the squads in all of the months. So if you have more than three squads, then you press the plus key to access the next set. Okay, and then shift plus. And now we're at high training. And we'll press O. Lowercase o again, 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 and then negative, negative. So we're going to have eight soldiers minimum this time. Shift enter. Press lowercase c to copy and then paste this everywhere. One thing that I uh, missed here, um, I have to press the S key to sleep in barracks at will. Uh, and then press C again to recopy it and now paste it everywhere. Lowercase you, they're gonna when they're when the soldier is inactive, when it's not training, then it's still gonna he's gonna remain in uniform. If I was gonna press U, then he would go to sw civilian clothes between that. Between training or between orders, he would switch to civilian he or she would switch to civilian clothing. Okay, so now on full training, we're going to press S to sleep in the barracks at will. And press S again, sleep in the barracks at need. And now O, and then lowercase O again, again, and again. 
and then we have 10 soldiers minimum so shift enter and lowercase c to copy and now we're going to paste everything in For this order, get inside, I have the civilian burrow active, so that way all the civilian dwarves will get into the active burrow one, and all the military squads will defend burrow one. And I have them sleep only when they need to in the barracks. And I copied that on all the squads. Now patrol one I'll do shortly. Just gonna fill up something happened here where we lost some dwarves. Enter, enter, enter. And those two squads. So we have the first three squads that are full. Okay, so now military, A for alert, and I'm gonna go down to get inside here. Left, left, and make that an active for. That's going to be active burrow one for civilians. And over here, I'm going to go to full training now. And then just press down and enter until all the squads are now active on full training. Now we should see them start to train shortly. So if I go back into this armor stand, all the squads are assigned to train in this room. Now we have them coming in now to... turn training off here. That training is off, and that training is off. So in the... in the... each of the barracks room I have them storing individual equipment, storing squad equipment, and sleeping. And in these rooms here, these two, uh, all the squads are able to train. So now I'm going to build an archery range, so B, Shift A, and I'm gonna move that down here to this room. Put it there. Enter. Shift A. Enter, enter. Shift A. Enter, enter. And we'll have to wait for those to be built. Okay, so the archery targets are created down here, um, but nobody's going to actually use them until we set them up. So we're going to click on this, press R to make it an archery range. I'm going to increase the size of it to the entire room, enter, and now with WASD here, I'm gonna have them shoot from the top to the bottom. And then with the plus and minus keys, I'm gonna have to assign each squad to train on that particular target. So we'll assign all of them. And this isn't normally how I set up the archery ranges. I'll probably in this fortress, I'll probably build it its own room uh, much larger. And then we'll do this one as well. So increase the size and S to shoot from top to bottom and then assign these squads. Went a little too fast there. And then assign the squads. So they're still not going to train in there um, because they don't have crossbows. So I'm going to go to M, N for uniforms, down to wrestler, control C, shift N. Yeah, I can, I can just add archer. Enter, shift W, add crossbows. And now M, E for equipment. If I hold down shift and press U, 
so I can assign him any uniform I want. But that's only going to affect this dwarf. So if I go to the new uniform here and hold down shift and then press enter, then all of the rest of the dwarves in that squad, since he's the first member of the squad, if I shift enter on the uniform, then the rest of the dwarves will be assigned that uniform as well. If I just press enter and then go to the next dwarf, he's still wearing the old uniform. So you want to go to the first dwarf in the squad, shift enter on the uniform that you want. And I'm going to go down to him as well, and the third one, shift enter. And now some of them should start training in archery as well. Oh, there we go. He's shooting now. So it looks like one of the dwarves is using bone and... Or it looks like three of the dwarves are using bone and the other one was using wood. Now I never actually made a stockpile for arrows at this, so at this fortress, so I'm going to press P for stockpile, C for ammunition, and I'm just going to actually put it down the hallway here, there, and then another one here, and then another one here. So if I press Shift N for points and routes, I can go to a location in the fortress and I can select a point there and I can hit place. So that's point one, and then move down a little bit. Press P again, and that's point two. Uh, we'll make point three there, point four. So this is point 29, and then I'll make point 30 here. And so this is, we're back to point one now. And now that I made the points all the way around the outside, the, the exclamation point, I'll press R for routes and add a route and then name it. So N, and we'll name this training training room patrol enter or for routes and a and then move down not point 30 but point 2 so point 2 is underneath the box here and it's also up here. I'm going to press A again. So now point 1 of 2. And now I'm going to go around to point 3. Press A. As long as it's flashing. So it starts to draw out the path as well. A again. A. Move up here. Press A. And then point 30 is last. I can move up and down this list with um, plus and minus. And I'm going to press P to go back. And P to place another one. Nope, not there. 31. D to delete it. Enter. I'm going to go over here and place another point. So that's point 32. Okay. Now I'm going to go to schedules. So military schedule, MS, and then shift minus, shift minus again. This is patrol route one, which we made earlier. 
I'm going to change it to sleep in barracks at need. So I'm going to press S and then S again. So I'm going to press O to give an order. O again. And now we have training room patrol, which we just made. I can adjust the number of dwarves here, but I'm going to leave it at 10. Shift enter. And then copy that. I'm going to paste it on all of the squads. So now military schedule. So S. And I'm going to hold down shift and press plus until I get to alert state 10. There we go. So I'm going to press O to give an order. O again. O again. Go to the bottom of this list. Point 32. Shift enter. And now this alert state 10. We're going to copy. And we're going to paste it. I press M for military, A for alerts, and you see these squads can be set to any alert separately from each other, so inact they're all set to inactive right now. I can go down to low training and set one of the squads there, medium training, another squad there, high training, next squad there, full training there. Well, get inside is the civilian alert, and that is active for Borough 1. And that is set independently of the squad alerts. So within the alerts, each squad has an alert. And the civilians also have an alert. If I go to Patrol 1 that we just set up, If I go to this dwarf, patrol training room patrol, and I'm going to press F to follow him. And they get a little confused sometimes. Looks like he's checking in the rooms too, past the doors. going to store an item. So now you can see the military squads are patrolling Route 1, which we created. If I go to military alert and change the squad alerts to alert state 10, and here they come now. Now, even though they're they're stationed at point 32 because of the alert, I can go into the squad menu, so S, and then select squad A, and tell them to move with lowercase m, and I'll select a point up here. The squad menu orders are going to override their scheduled orders. If I press O again, it's going to cancel the station and they're going to go back to their regular orders. If I press T in this menu, I can change their alert level to anything I want here. Full training. And then we'll go to squad B. Press T for full training. C lowercase t, full training. A 
Well, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and um, subscribe for more videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Do you have durian? I thought that was a gas leak. I really did.